Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is the biography of Yo-Yo. Yolanda Whitaker, also known as Yo-Yo, is an American rapper and actress. Much of Yo-Yo's music advocates female empowerment. She is a protege gangster rapper of Ice Cube. She has dubbed her crew the IBWC, Intelligent Black Women's Coalition. She made her name as a female rapper who likes to play it rough and dirty as her male rap counterparts. She was raised in South Central District of Los Angeles. Yo-Yo first appeared as a guest on Ice Cube's 1990 debut studio album, America's Most Wanted, on the track, It's a Man's World. Yo-Yo re represented her gender in an admirable style. Her own long playing debut introduced her competitive, combative attitude with frequent interjections from Ice Cube's lynch mob posse. Cube returned the favor by appearing on You Can't Play With My Yo-Yo on Yo-Yo's 1991 debut album, Make Way For The Mother Lope. Each of the videos for the singles from the album were directed by Akua Garrett of Power Films. That album's torch song was Sisterland, a rallying call for her fellow female MCs. Her follow-up album, released in 92, Black Pearl, was well received by critics, partly because of its focus on positive messages and uplifting themes that were heavily contrasted with the popular gangster rap style at the time. Black Pearl confirmed her role as a self-styled girl of female dignity and pride in the male-dominated world of rap. She managed to invert the usual gangster rap trappings by acting as a female pimp on the track, Mattress. Despite a plethora of renowned producers such as DJ Muggs, this failed to translate into a hit with mainstream hip-hop audiences, and the album itself were considered a disappointment. Less than a year later, Yo-Yo released her follow-up album titled You Better Ask Somebody. The final track on the album was her third rec recorded hip-hop duet with Ice Cube, the Bonnie and Clyde theme. Her next album, album Total Control, was released in 96. In 98, Yo-Yo finished her fifth studio album, Ebony, though it was not released. Ebony was a more effective attempt at updating her sound to match the new generation of female rappers led by Foxy Brown and Lil' Kent. The album included combative collaborations with Missy Elliott on the track of I Would If I Could and with Lil' Sean Fantasy in 2008. Her single, You Can't Play With My Yo-Yo, was ranked number 92 in the H1's 100 Greatest Hip Hop Songs. Later that year, she performed with MC Light, The Lady of Rage, and Salt and Pepper at the BET Hip Hop Awards. As of 2009, Yo-Yo has been working on an EP titled My Journey to Fearless, The Black Butterfly. In 2013, it was announced that she joined the upcoming BET reality series, Hip Hop Sisters, which will focus on six female rappers confirmed to appear are MC Light, Lady of Rage, Moni Love, Lil Mama, and Smooth. Yo-Yo concentrated on her acting career. She appeared in several films, including 91's Boys in the Hood. She had a recurring role on the TV show Martin as Key Lolo, the sidekick to comedian Martin Lawrence's alter ego, Shanene. Yo-Yo also appeared on the TV shows, including Fox's Network's New York Undercover, as well as the, H the Hughes Brothers' acclaimed Minister Society. She made a cameo appearance in a music video for Missy Elliott's The Rain Super Duper Fly. She also appeared in the 2004 video game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as the voiceover of Kendall Johnson. She dated the late Tupac Shakur for some time during the 90s. She was with Tupac in the hospital shortly before he passed away in September 96. Later, she became engaged to DeAndre Wyndham, the former mayor of Highland Park, Michigan. In August 2012, the two married on August 17, 2013 in the Cayman Islands and divorced in 2018. Yo-Yo has been active in advocating for hip-hop artists to become involved with their, within, within their communities. Notably, she testified in 94 for a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing about whether the government should require rating labels of gangster rap. She also founded the Yo-Yo School of Hip Hop to use hip hop and cur curriculum for at-risk students. She has been in the rap game with four released albums and one unreleased studio album. It's been over three decades since she stepped on the rap scene and she is still thriving to present day. I loved Yo-Yo back in my childhood years. I remember Black Pearl was one of her albums that I copped in my youth. Keep doing your thing.
All right, y'all. Thanks for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe.